listeners, welcome back. It has been a while since I last speak to you on the phone. Well, today I am going to eat healthier because last night I had a big roast pork belly in my belly and now I have a belly. So today, of course, I'm going to make something healthier and that is a one, one, one true Singaporean dish that all Singaporeans love it and they must have it once a week or maybe every day because this uh, dish will have in every food court and that is none other than a fish noodle soup. Yes. Fish noodle soup comes in, like fried fish noodle soup or fish head noodle soup. And I think this is a very true Singaporean dish. No one will claim it. No, in, not in Malaysia or in uh, Indonesia or Thailand, but in Singapore. It's very special. So why it is so popular here? Probably there's a lot of Teochew people um, descendant. And this uh, fish and noodles and soup is very Teochew style. So in Penang, I also have this dish. But they, we have it in a fish head steamboat. Yes, uh, yu tou lu, and I love to have this with my family, but unfortunately not anymore. So today I'm going to recreate it at home because I bought a big, 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 big greasy grouper this morning for six dollars and sixty one cent. So big, so big, so big, and I have to cook it, everything, and have it fresh. So this fish, of course, to make this dish, you must have a fish. You must have ginger, dala. You must have a. Uh, noodles so i'm using a rice noodles so this is the rice noodles which i have it for the laksa and you can use this as well um what else tomatoes and then i'm going to add in a few other extra ingredients if you have it at home such as like a salted palm this is a ham soy mui lap boy sour plum and i'm also going to throw in a salted 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 giam chai mustard green so this was enhance the, the broth of this soup dish and what else do I need? Of course, if you have a tofu, you can throw it in as well. So it's almost like a steamboat, you know, very hearty, very nutritional and uh, a lot of things in that the bowl of uh, fish uh, noodle soup. And besides that, I'm going to enhance it with uh, a little bit more of uh, make it more expensive and exclusive. That is add in a few drops of cognac. Of course, you can add in like uh, brandy or you can add in the... Chinese rice cooking wine or Dom Badenitin is more uh, nutritional and uh, lots of ginger. Oh, so good. And of course, it's also up entirely up to you whether you want to have your dish very milky. And you can add in the evaporated milk. So just a few drops and make it very low, low, cloudy. And it's creamy and looks mm, very authentic. So to stay tuned, I'm going to start cooking now. One of the fish fillets. Sorry, I was held up. But the fish is waiting. And remember not to throw this away because we are going to make the soup broth, all right? So to avoid the fishy uh, taste for the filet, I am going to marinate with uh, pepper, white pepper. And then for those bones that you're going to make the broth, we will marinate it with uh, salt. So at least 30 minutes before we pan fry them.
have thrown in some tomatoes before that and I have poached the tomatoes and this is how you remove the skin from the tomatoes put them in the cold water and the rest we will keep brewing so ladies and gentlemen moment of truth oh, uh, uh, uh. I have not added in any flavoring yet so there's umami, there's uh, sourness, saltiness, everything in it what I need to add is one piece of rock sugar that will balance up the taste so and then last but not least I am going to add in the evaporated milk about uh, a quarter cup or so we see how it goes so that you get the cloudy milky kind of soup and I tell you it is amazing it's so hearty creamy gingery everything else so guys moment of truth i'm gonna flambe my uh, fish soup <laughs> on fire